Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nuru Ifa Iliana binti Adenan. My metric number is 2C1 AAC. I am from class management ethic group C. So this video I would like to explain more about the ethical issue that I observe from article in Malaysia. First is an ethical but legal issue. The title of the article that I found is Senior citizen with a wheelchair was a found Been left by the roadside alone Recently, Malaysia was shocked a sad news of a poor old lady uh, Being found alone on the roadside in a wheelchair As a result, being abandoned by her family In fact, she was also supplied with a disposable diapers and a sweet case so to solve the problem the Selangor Zakat Board LZS managed to contact the families of the elderly but did not get a good cooperation by them and even gave various uh, reasons not to take care of the woman anymore due to the condition of her leg LZS had to hand her her over uh, to the police for further action by contact the old people care center to come to pick her up by uh, ambulance according to the policy procedure to place her in the elderly care center with the permission of her son and all costs will be borne by the agency but despite all the treatment she received, she still pray for the best uh, for her son. And even though she was dumped on the side of the road alone. Uh, so this issue can be said to be unethical in the community because uh, they have left their elderly mother by the side of the road so that they have to beg more for mercy from others uh, from a legal point of view there is no law stating about dumping or leaving an elderly parents in a public place will be a subject to legal action but it depends on the situation because there are some children who cannot afford the expenses of their parents next to overcome this issue we must think wisely uh, before taking an action by knowing how they feel and the effect on the surrounding society in the event of something undesirable happening therefore every child need to play an important role in caring for their parents in a way that does not neglect them. This is because it is a common for elderly parents to experience physically weakness and make it, make it difficult for them to move freely. This occurs because of the demand of life by children who are busy with career to support high, high cost of living. So one of the way that can be done by uh, when children are busy working or need to work in a remote place, they can send their parents to a daycare center or hire someone to take care of them. But also need to visit them often to see the condition of their parents and last but not least I can say that no matter what happened children should not uh, be careless and should be fully responsible uh, to their parents next is ethical but illegal issue so the title that I found is uh, preacher and abuse claim to uh, claim told to abandon mission in Sepona but court said no such directive. Uh, recently, independent preacher Abit Liu uh, has been informed that he had to stop all form humanitarian aid to do 
to the people of the island of Sampurna Sabah. This is because he had to uh, travel during the movement control order which is MCO when COVID-19 was still raging and was described as not wearing a face mask when meeting vulnerable community. However, he did not reveal who prevented him from continuing uh, his mission. Uh, the authorities do, do not object to its humanitarian aid mission. However, any charitable uh, organization should seek advice and guidelines from their respective local authorities, especially when the state is still in a PK, uh, in a in a MCO situation. So the action taken by the independent preacher can be said to be ethical for trying to contribute uh, humanitarian uh, aid to those in distress in Sabah. However, from a legal point of view, uh, this action was illegal as he did not adhere to proper SOP guideline and also also protocol while providing assistance. In fact, uh, he also did not get prior, prior permission to enter the gazetted area and under management and control. So according to the law, among the punishment that can be imposed if he continue this humanitarian is a unit humanitarian activity is a fine of 100,000 or imprisonment for three years. This humanitarian activity is very moral action uh, to be done by all parties which will leave a deep impact on the surrounding community. However, this action has indirectly uh, violated the law as the independent pressure did not adhere to the protocol provided. Therefore, among the way that can be done to those who want to implement such a thing, uh, they must follow the protocol provided, uh, which is to make sure uh, to make an application in advance to establish uh, a school under the Land Ordinance Chapter 68 which is uh, land application in the island area, island area. This is because the island has its own owner or hair. They should not take a reckless action by providing school uh, construction hardware item before asking permission from the landlord okay last but not least this show uh, this show that asking for permission first is an important thing for those who want to carry out an uh, humanitarian mission uh, okay that's all from me thank you for watching